Hello everybody, my name is Shreen and Z. Thank you so much for stopping by on the video today. I have a super exciting video. As you guys can see, I have a plethora of eyeshadow palettes. This isn't even all of my eyeshadow palettes in the frame. I have more off to the side, but I decided, you know, I have way too many. I need to declutter. I asked you guys in the community tab if you guys wanted to see an eyeshadow palette declutter and you guys said you did. So here I am doing it and I am just beyond excited to finally get rid of all this stuff. I'm going to be giving some away. I'm also going to be selling a lot of these items. A lot of these things I've only used one time for a YouTube video and I would feel comfortable disinfecting these things and selling them to you guys. So definitely let me know if you're interested in any of these palettes that I end up giving away. Here are my nails. I am obsessed with my nails. I wanted to do them nice because I knew that the shots today would be all focused on my hands. These are actually Madame Glam gel polishes, so these do require a UV light. I seriously look like I've got my nails done. So this is actually in the color Lilac Pursuit, and I have this one on, and then I have this color called Organic Lavender, this beautiful sparkle on my ring and pinky finger here. These polishes are really nice. They also sent over this color called Vintage Pink, which is a really pretty dark purple color. My camera is struggling to focus. Um, so that is that, and they sent over their base and top coat as well. So leave the links for these down below if you guys are interested, but these polishes, seriously, like this was one coat of the purple. I didn't even do two coats. It's one coat. Like, insane. So thank you so much to Madame Glam for sending those over to me. These are cruelty free as well, nine free and vegan. So uh, amazing. Let's go ahead and dive in. This is the Sigma Core de Rosa palette. They sent this over to me. I haven't reached for it too much. It is a really, really pretty palette, but it's not one that I have gravitated towards. I might send this um, sell this and pass it on. I have my Sigma Enchanted palette, which is also gorgeous. There are some really unique colors in here. Again, I don't really reach for this one too, too often, so I'm probably going to sell this one as well. These are all my Sigma palettes. This palette is really pretty. The Sigma Essentials palette, probably, um, I really do like this. This would be good, I think, for travel. I might keep this because it does have the highlight, um, a contour, and a bronzer in there, so I'll keep that one. This is the, oh my gosh, I love this palette. I think it's really, really pretty. This is with the Beauty Bird. You can't get this one anymore. I just think it's really, really pretty. My boyfriend got this for me recently. This is the BFF Amanda and LC, or Alondra and LC palette. I love this palette. My boyfriend got it for me and I really wanted it, so I'm definitely going to keep this one. I've got my two Makeup Geek palettes. I don't know why my camera is struggling to focus. It, there is these two palettes. I'm definitely going to keep these because I seriously, these are every color in the rainbow, so I'm keeping these palettes as well. Um, I got this. I can't remember if I got this at the container store or not. This is like an envelope um, organizer, or if I got it on Amazon, I can't remember. I have this Carity palette. I'm not, I haven't touched this in years. It's really, really pretty, so this one I'm going to pass on. I have these two Essence palettes. I haven't used these. Um, these are brand new. I'm going to get rid of these as well. Morphe Jeffree Star palette. Ah! Oh my gosh. I think this palette is really, really cool. I'm not a huge fan of Jeffree Star anymore, um, but I really like this palette. And I think my, I don't know if my boyfriend got this one for me or not. I don't think he did, but um, I really like this palette. I need to play with this more. And I need to play with this one as well. This is the ColourPop So Jaded palette with Kathleen Lights. The color story in this is absolutely stunning. I need to play with this more. Love this palette. I have my three Anastasia palettes. We have the pink one, which I recently got last year. Love this one. It's all pink. My boyfriend's mom got this for me for Christmas. It's the orange brown one. And then my boyfriend got this one for me, which is the pinks and purples. If you see any palettes in here that you want me to film with, please let me know. 
because I would be more than happy to do that because sometimes I have so many palettes that I'm like overwhelmed. Like I'm like, what do I do? What do I film with? So if you say, hey, can you do a tutorial with this palette? I'll do that in like a foundation video or something. And then I also have this palette. This is the Morphe James Charles palette. I have this binder clip on here because I like flipping it open. I am not a fan of James Charles. Sorry if that offends anybody. It's a really, really pretty palette. But again, Emma Boyfriend got this for me as well. This was one of our first um, trips that we took together. So this one definitely means a lot to me. Um, I'm not a fan of James Charles, but I'm keeping it because my boyfriend got it for me. These are some Cara Beauty palettes. I absolutely love these. I recently got this. This one my boyfriend got for me. This is the Life of the Fiesta palette. And I don't know why my camera is struggling to focus. So there's this palette and I'm, I like showing you guys the inside. I've been watching a lot of eyeshadow palette declutters lately and I'm like, ooh, I love how that palette looks. So I'm keeping that one and then he also got me this one as well the Cara Beauty palette. This one is the Starry Eyes um, palette. Here are all my Anastasia palettes. This is the Dominique Cosmetics Celestial Thunder palette. I think I got this in my boxy charm, if I remember correctly. It's a really pretty palette, but I don't grab it, so I'm going to get rid of that. And then this is the Latte 2 palette. Again, really, really pretty, but do I grab it? And I think I got this in my BoxyCharm as well. Or no, maybe I got this in the Trend Mood box, I think, maybe. So I think I'm going to get rid of this one as well. Here are all my Anastasia palettes. The Subculture palette, which I think is gorgeous. The Sultry palette. Ah. I need to play with these more modern renaissance. As you can see, I've used that one a lot. The Soft Glam. This one I was using like all the time. The Amrezy palette. This one, I don't know if I'm going to keep. I can't remember if, if who got this one for me. I need to play with this one more for sure. And then my boyfriend got me this one, the Alyssa Edwards palette. I don't know why my camera is struggling to focus. This is the ColourPop Sailor Moon palette. I don't know. It's like I want to keep this because of like the packaging and everything, but I haven't really worn it. I need to play with it more. The packaging is just super, super cute. So I don't know. I'm on the fence about that one and I thought it was going to sell out, but it isn't a rare like palette or anything like that. This is the Huda Beauty Mercury Retrograde palette. Again, I need to play with this. Oh, it's so pretty. I remember when this came out, I was like so excited about it. I need to play with that. And then the Huda Beauty Nudie, um, the nude palette. I don't really touch this one either. Do I want to keep this one? I don't know. Is the Pastels Mint palette. This one is very similar to the Mercury Retrograde, so I don't know. I'm going to put that to the side. Etude House Peach Farm. I've never touched this palette, so I think I'm going to pass this along. Juvios, Juvia's Place, the Warriors palette. The colors in here are gorgeous, but I don't reach for this at all, so I'm going to give that away. The Sahara by Juvia's Place. This one, I don't use this one either, so I think I'm going to get rid of this one. All of these palettes I just got recently um, from Sigma, so I need to play with these, so I'm going to keep these, that one and that one. And I want to give away the Spicy and the Fiery palette, so if you want to win one of these, leave. Make sure you're subscribed. Follow me on Instagram at shwinnzy. If you can, leave a comment down below letting me know which palette you want and leave your Instagram handle so I have a way to contact you. So giving these away. The Ordinary Escape palette. I just got this, so I'm going to keep that. This is from Cara Beauty as well. Love this. Keeping this. Just got that. This is the Huda Beauty Haze palette. I'm not really a fan of this, so I'm going to get rid of this one. Kesha Rose palette. This one is really different and unique. Like, the packaging on this is very interesting. But that's what that looks like. 
the Glam Light Pizza Slice palette. Again, this one is so weird. I mean, look at the packaging. But do I grab it? No. I'm going to get rid of this palette. The Mama Mama Mitchell palette. Oh, this one is really pretty. Mine, this color um, at the top completely fell out. I was super upset about it, but they ended up refunding me partially. I don't grab this palette that often, um, and I think I'm going to get rid of this one because I have his brand of eyeshadow palettes. The Fairy Tale Storybook palette. Again, the packaging is really cool. Do I grab it? No. I'm gonna get rid of that. The Jeffree Star Bloodlust palette. Oh my gosh, like this. The packaging on this is unreal. I haven't opened this since I bought it, but again, I'm not a fan of Jeffree Star anymore, personally. This palette is absolutely gorgeous. I mean, look at those colors. But do I grab it? No. The hype behind this was so crazy, but I think I'm going to get rid of this palette as well. We've got the Manny MUA Life's a Drag palette. I don't wear this, and it's not that special, so I'm going to get rid of that. These are pretty rare. The Lorac Mega Pro palettes. Um, I think I'm going to sell these as well. Hanging in Hawaii by BH Cosmetics. We've got the Lorac Mega Pro 2 palette. I don't think you can get this one anymore. Oh my gosh, mine is destroyed. Look at this. I used to, oh my gosh, I didn't realize I used this a lot. This thing I probably just need to throw away. It's like super gross. I mean, look at that. Mm -hmm. The Urban Decay Vice palette. I probably just need to throw this away because that thing is super old. Oh, the Jouer Essentials Matte and Shimmer palette. I'm going to get rid of an Il Maquillage palette. I did not think this was very good. I'm going to get rid of that. This Pinky Rose Cosmetics palette. It's really, really pretty, but I'm going to get rid of this as well. The Sigma Viper palette I wore one time. So I'm not going to keep that. This palette I think is really pretty. The Lime Crime Venus palette. Oh, I scraped some eyeshadows out to use, but otherwise I haven't used this palette too much. Gonna get rid of that. The Model Zone Barely There 2 palette. I think this one's like a neutral. I'm gonna get rid of that. This one's brand new. Soap and Glory Lid Stuff, brand new. The Anastasia Master Palette by Mario. This one's like really, really old. There are the colors in there. I'm going to get rid of this as well. Again, all the palettes I'm getting rid of, I will be sanitizing. The Ocean Palette by OPV. Getting rid of that. Venus 2 Palette. Getting rid of that. Oh, this was like a freebie. Urban Decay. Like a... 100 point perk or something at Sephora. I've never used this. Lancome eyeshadow, never used that. Oh, this is the Ava ColourPop palette. It's really, really pretty, but I've used it like one time. This Huda Beauty palette, I think one of the shadows is completely broken. Oh, yeah. This is brand new, the Pixie Whaley um, set. This is brand new, so I'm gonna sell this. BH Royal Affair palette. I think I've used this like one time. Selling that. ColourPop Amanda Steele on the weekend. I think this is old. I need to like throw this away. <laughs> oh, I don't think I've ever, I don't know, maybe I've just swatched this, the Ciate Editor palette. I don't think, oh yeah, I've just swatched it. I haven't actually used this on my eyes, or maybe I have. But if I did, I used it like one time. So I'm going to get rid of this. And I got this one recently too. This Kylie palette I'm going to get rid of as well. That's what that looks like. And this Soph X. Um, I don't know if this is her first or this is her second palette, I think. It's really pretty, but I don't wear it. So this is the second palette of hers. I'm going to get rid of that. I've got some more palettes here. I have a duplicate. This one is um, unused and 
brand new so I'm gonna keep that since I haven't used it this is the Violet Voss olive palette I don't know if I'm gonna keep this or not I got this in my boxycharm as well I was really excited about this palette I'll I'll keep it for now this is the Raw Beauty Christie and Pure Cosmetics palette oh my gosh my friend um gave this to me so I'm definitely going to be keeping this this is the ColourPop at Forest Sight palette honestly I felt like this palette was a little underwhelming like I was really excited about it and then when I got it in person I was like oh it's kind of underwhelming so I think I'm going to be selling this the Nikki tutorials and Beauty Bay palette I was so excited when this came out I think it's really really pretty I need to play with this more and if I don't play with it I'm gonna get rid of it because again I just feel like a lot of the palettes that I have kind of look like that I have both of the Ma 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 Mitchell palettes and they come in these really cool boxes and containers. Oh my gosh, I don't feel like opening up both of these, but I've only played with this one and I haven't even played with the other palette that I have of his as well. So I'm gonna play, keep both of those and play with those. I have, oh, these are some, oh, let's see, I bought this. The I Love Sarahi collaboration. I don't know if I'm gonna keep this or not it's really pretty I don't know I just got this I haven't even had a chance to like put it on my eyeballs I'll just keep it I just got this the Venus XL2 palette I think this one is really different and unique I'm gonna keep this one I've got the Sigma warm neutrals palette I don't think I'm gonna keep this one just because a lot of things that I have look very similar to this but it's a really pretty palette I haven't had a chance to play with this one, the Untamed. I'm gonna keep this one because I think the color story in this is really cool. The Ace Beauty Nostalgia Palette. I think I got this in my BoxyCharm as well. A lot of the BoxyCharm palettes can be hit or miss. So um, this one is just like a bunch of super bright colors. I'm not gonna keep this one. I've only, I don't think I've even worn it on my eyes. And Arlo's joining. You see him? What you doing, buddy? You coming to look at all my makeup? I'm gonna get rid of that one. I haven't even played with this one yet. This is the Ofra palette. I need to play with this one. These are my ColourPop singles. Gonna keep that. Gonna keep the Star Wars Mandalorian palette. <laughs> you like that one, Arlo? Oh. You gonna sit? No? Okay. <laughs> These are my uh, Makeup Geek shadows, gonna keep those. These are all my loose ColourPop Anastasia and Makeup Geek, old Makeup Geek shadows. So I'm gonna keep this as well. Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette, gonna get rid of this. This palette is very important to me. This is one of the first palettes that I got with my boyfriend before we started dating, so I'm gonna keep that. This palette is a dupe for the Natasha Denona palette gonna keep that um actually well I don't know hmm, I'll keep it this is the dose of colors palette oh this is very similar to this is the one in collaboration with oh yeah Desi and Katie here's the I love Sarahi and here's the Desi and Katie palette I don't know they're very similar I think I'll get rid of this one and then keep this one the Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette. This one's really cool, but I don't like Jaclyn Hill personally. Huh? This Natasha Denona palette. I think my dad got this for me. I'll keep that. Ace Beauty palette. Gonna get rid of that. The Natural Matte palette. This palette is really, really pretty, but I don't reach for it as often as I want to. It's really, really pretty, but I don't support Too Faced anymore either, so I'm gonna get rid of that. I love this palette by the Kylie and Jordi palette, even though they're not friends anymore. I just think this color story is really pretty. Oh my gosh, this palette is so old and I'm always going to keep it. This is like one of the first collaborations I was so excited about. This is the ColourPop. I think this one's really pretty, but I don't know. I don't know about it. I'll keep it. Oh, I'm gonna give this away. I don't think I've ever used it. It's a Makeup Geek shadow palette. 
Oh, this is brand new. The Adelaine Maureen palette. I just think I kept it for the highlight, honestly, but it's brand new. I've never used it before, so I'm going to get rid of this. It smells really good, too. This Frozen 2 palette. I think this one's pretty, but I don't think I'm going to keep it. ColourPop Sweet Talk palette. I'm not going to keep that one. Truly Madly Deeply palette. I think it's pretty, but I don't think I'm going to keep it. Here's the, oh, this is her second um, palette. The first one was the original one. This one's really pretty, but I don't think I'm going to keep it. Oh, I think this was supposed to be a dupe for the Huda Beauty palette. Maybe I'll do a side-by-side -side of both of these. I'm not really sure. This Folklore palette. I don't think I've ever used this. Getting rid of that. And this highlight palette, gonna get rid of that. The mini controversy palette from Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star. I don't support them anymore, but here is the palette. I think I've used it one time. Actually, yeah, I've used it one time. Some of the shadows I haven't even used, so I'm gonna get rid of that. I think these are all of my eyeshadows i'm getting rid of so many oh and i have this one bh nice palette i think this one's so cute it's so tiny mm, adorable so that is my entire eyeshadow palette collection i hope you enjoyed